my guest, my brother Jalen. Hi. And he's going to tell you guys about Swiss secondary schools and American middle schools. So this is my school, Schulhaus Repugel. And it is a Swiss secondary school, in German Sekundarschule. And it consists of the 7th, 8th, and 9th grade. So I'm currently in the second class, which would be equivalent to the 8th grade in America. So before we moved to Switzerland, I was at an American middle school in Bellevue, Washington for about one semester. So I have kind of have an idea of what an American middle school is like. So today I'm going to interview Jalen about the biggest differences of Swiss secondary school and American middle school. So one of the big differences is gymnasium. Everyone's talking about, can you just please tell us what the heck this thing is? So in Switzerland, the school system is way different than America. So only 20% of the students go to gymnasium, which is like their first of university and the other 80% go and do a job as an apprenticeship for around three or more years. If only 20% of the Swiss kids make it to gymnasium, that must be really hard. How'd you get in? You have three opportunities. The first one is in at the end of sixth grade where you take the test and if you make it you go there and then you have another two chances in eighth grade and ninth grade. So basically the people who don't get to the gymnasiums, are they like total losers? No, it's perfectly normal because 80% don't get into gymnasium. So are you in gymnasium, Jan? <laughs> I am not because when we first came here, I wasn't, I was in sixth grade. My German wasn't good enough. I'm in eighth grade now, so I have another chance in ninth grade, and my teachers think I should go for it. What is an apprenticeship? After the ninth grade, you go do an apprentice. You choose a career, then you do an apprenticeship for three or more years, and you actually earn a lot of money during those years, and you usually end up getting that job after your apprenticeship is over. You can do an apprenticeship for almost anything at the post office, or at a grocery store, or at Google. <laughs> well, this apprentice thing sounds pretty cool. You get to earn money while going to school. Do they have something like this in America? I don't know, but my parents have told me that in America, when you're finished with high school, you, there's nothing like this, and you don't have much job experience. Well, this apprenticeship thing is pretty interesting, but how do you even choose what kind of apprenticeship you go to? Starting in the 8th grade, we have a new class, Berufswahl, which is all about teaching you about your careers and stuff. And you can also go do a Schnuppele, which is a test apprenticeship where you go to the company for a couple of days and then you really get to learn about all, all about the job and you get a lot of hands-on experience. So Jill, is there any different classes you take in Swiss secondary school and American middle school? When I went to middle school in America, we got to choose electives, like I did coding and art and Chinese. Here, only in the ninth grade can you choose some classes that you want. In the seventh grade, I had cooking class where for three hours we just cooked something and then we got to eat it at school and then it got shut down by Corona. When I was in the Aufnahme Klasse, which was the German as a second language class, we went on a bunch of different field trips and you didn't have to sign a permission slip, we just went and then like to the zoo. Sometimes we would just go to the woods and grill some sausages, cut stuff with a knife sometimes and we didn't even have to talk to our parents about it, we just, no permission slip, we just went there. 
so right now I'm in primary school, the fifth grade. I'm learning, of course, German, English. I just started to learn French. Is there any other language you speak and learn in second secondary school? In secondary school, we learn the same languages, um, German, English, and French. And also, if you want, as an elective in the ninth grade, you can learn Italian, but I'm not going to do that. <laughs> The language classes are actually pretty important because when we did standardized tests, it was judged on our German, English, French, and math. So, and three of those are languages. And I think English is also very different from in America because we actually focus on grammar. We do almost all grammar, unlike in America where we just read and wrote essays. So that means that all the Swiss kids can speak three languages fluently? Uh, well, the Swiss kids, they can speak pretty fluent German. They don't know the grammar rules that well. And English, I think their English is not bad because they also hear it from pop culture and stuff. But their French, uh, I took some French courses when we got here so I could be caught up in French. But actually, the Swiss can't speak French that well, at least in the German-speaking part where we live. So in primary school, my lunch breaks an hour and a half. Is it different in secondary school? Nope, it's the same for an hour and a half. First, we eat lunch for 30 minutes, and we can only actually be excused after 30 minutes. And then, Everyone goes to like the couches or the chairs and they look at their phones for the other hour well, playing video games or looking at TikTok. Our lunch break's so long that my friend once came over to my house. We made lunch, which was spaghetti carbonara, and then we had enough, enough time to play a board game and then walk to school. How was lunch break to you at American Middle School? In middle school, our lunch break was very short. Um, I don't remember exactly, but maybe like 40 minutes. So you only had enough time to eat your lunch, maybe chat with your friends. And if you had time, you could go to the library really quickly for a couple, for maybe 10 minutes to check out a book or read something. In primary school for me, I'm in my classes with 20 kids and I know everybody because we never like swap it around. How is that for you? So like Max, I also have a class of around 20 kids. We have 22 and yeah, we just go to every class together except for French where we split up because there's actually two levels of French. I'm actually in the second level, but I will be going to the first level soon. But in America, it was much different. We actually had seven different periods every day, and each period we would have a different class. So you would have to make a couple of friends in each class. In America, we had the class size was always around 25 kids because the school was super big and had tons of kids, so they really wanted to pack in as many kids as possible per class. While I was in America, like every class, they had, I, I'm not sure if it was a rule, but they always had to have at least 24 kids. Here, most everybody kind of like knows each other, and it's also a smaller school. So yeah, it's good. So how about recess? How is recess in American middle school? In American middle school, we didn't really have recess. In between our different periods, we would have a four minute break, but it's more like just the time so you can run to the next class throughout the big schoolhouse. Here, between each class, we have a 10 minute break, so and we're actually forced to go outside, so we just stand here and talk. So is there anything else that's unique about Swiss secondary school? We also have this thing called the Contactheft, which means like contact journal, and it has your information, but it's also kind of like a log book in a way. So whenever you do something bad, they write it down, and then you have to have your parents sign it, or if you get a message, you have to bring it to your parents, and the parents have to sign it in your Contactheft. There's actually a lot of controversy about it, and people think it's just a waste of time. 
So overall, how would you compare Swiss secondary schools and American middle schools? I think overall, it's just, it has like a different atmosphere. It's more chill, everyone knows each other, and kind of more enjoyable than the really strict, fast American school. So I hope you enjoy my guest star Jalen today and learn a bit about secondary schools in Switzerland. Don't forget if you like this video please give us a thumbs up and don't forget to click the subscribe bell. Ding! See you next time. Bye! To earn money and go to like... <coughs> oh my god. <laughs> no, no, about I, secondary I school.